Hey friends, it's Rachel with the Ponds Farmhouse, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I am gonna be updating a um, thrift store ginger jar. Um, I have been wanting a blue and white ginger jar, and the reason that I'm really interested in one right now is I'm planning a chinoiserie tablescape, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to update this um, kind of ugly uh, ginger jar that I found for cheap at the thrift store, and we're gonna use a napkin decoupage on it to give it a blue and white Asian theme. And um, so we're gonna get started here. Now I'm gonna show you a picture here of the original ginger jar. And what I have done is I have used some spray paint on it. Uh, we're going to use that, the spray paint's going to um, cover over all of that. And then we're gonna be using the napkins to do the decoupage on it. So follow along and see how we do it. And I uh, just thank you for being here. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, I hope you will. Uh, I do lots of budget-friendly DIY projects, budget-friendly decorating, uh, helping you to create the home of your dreams, but on a budget. So um, let me get the ginger jar in here and we're gonna get started. Okay, we've got our ginger jar, we've got our Mod Podge, and we've got our napkins. And the very first thing we need to do is separate the napkins. And one of the easiest ways to do this is with just some plain scotch tape. So what you wanna do is you wanna put the tape on there and then pull the layer away. Now that just pulled the one layer off. So I'm gonna stick again. Let's see, we'll go ahead and get that off of there. And then I'm just gonna stick it again and see if I can get that final layer. Because all you want is that decorative layer here. Okay, so we've got the napkin separated and then because it'll be difficult to put this on here just you know like this without it crinkling up what we're going to do is we're going to cut this and one of the things that i really like about this particular napkin is this design that's around the edge of it and i think that that would look good going around the bottom of this and then possibly around the top of this so i'm going to cut that away from the uh, design to begin with. And that way we can apply it where we want it. And I think it'll look a lot more authentic than if we just put this on here as it is, if that makes sense. So we're gonna kind of cut these out just a little bit. Hope you were able to see what I'm doing here. We're just cutting. It doesn't have to be a perfect cut. You just want to get the majority of the design. And then once we get this cut, then we're going to cut some of these other pieces too. We don't, we don't want this to be all crinkled up if we can avoid it. And this is a fairly simple little design, very Asian looking. So the um, chinoiserie design, I think will come through very well on this. I'm gonna, let's just cut that right there. And so what my, I'm proposing to do here is just to start this around the bottom, just like this. And so and you wanna I'm work in small sections at a time. You don't wanna start out, you know, completely. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna set the box right here. And we're just gonna put a little bit of the Mod Podge right here. And I like to work in small sections so that it doesn't um, dry out before I get around. Okay. 
I'm just going to apply this. And you want to be real, real gentle because these um, napkins are very fragile. In fact, what I like to do is just take a, the brush and just gently press it down so that it adheres without damaging the napkin itself. Get a little bit more glue down here, a bit more of the Mod Podge. Okay, and I'm just gonna go, go over it real gently. And that's gonna get us started. Now I'm gonna turn it over so we can add more. And you can kind of walk out the bubbles as you go as well. And that's another reason for not using a whole piece, a big piece at a time, because when you have a big piece, it's hard to get the bubbles out. Okay. So now, make sure there's no glue on the bottom. We're gonna turn that over. And now what we wanna do is take the rest of this, the rest of this piece, and we're gonna cut it into sections. And I'm gonna start up here at the top and work them in, uh, noticing that there's like a, a bird here on this. And some will probably take a section about like that and cut that out. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can go all the way around with this one because we're, we're we've got a pretty wide space here. If I can take that all the way around, that would be beautiful. So let's see how that works. Let's get the glue on there first, and don't worry if you're not getting the glue exactly where if you go be or if you go beyond where the um, napkin is going because you can always, it'll just dry real quickly and when you come to the next piece, it'll go, it'll be perfect. So, you don't have to be too, too picky here. Okay. Let's see, this is the one that I had. It's got the, no, let's see. Yeah, this is the birds. Okay, so we're going to take that and start it right here very gently start to put it on to the thing, to the ginger jar. Whoops, my brush fell apart on me. This is an old one. I use it for decoupaging. You may want to put down some kind of protection for your table in case you have an accident like I just did. But we're going to just kind of gradually bring this up. I don't know if I've got enough glue underneath this, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. And you'll notice it's it's it actually is crinkling a little bit, but I promise you when this is all done, you'll never know the difference. So don't be too anal about trying to get everything perfect because with napkin decoupage, it'll all smooth out. It's a little bit more forgiving than say, if you're using paper, regular like craft paper. Okay, see how we're doing there? Isn't that gorgeous? All right, now this piece, I may actually try to bring it right in underneath it. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Um, I think I'm going to cut it in two, though, because a lot of times the more narrow the, the jar is at this point, the harder it is to get it to adhere evenly. So I'm going to... Take this piece, get plenty of glue on it. Okay. 
I'm glad I didn't use the bigger piece because it definitely would have um, been hard to get it to wrap here. Okay, can you see how that's coming along? It's looking absolutely stunning. So, all right, well, let me go ahead and I'm gonna cut some more pieces and then we're gonna come back and see what it's starting to look like. so much for watching today i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you would like more budget friendly decorating ideas i hope you'll subscribe to my channel thank you so much